Hey everyone, Decov13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Persona 3 Reload. Alright, so, uh, I guess we're just gonna be leaving Tartarus. Oh, hello. Since we rescued whoever was inside. And, uh, oh right, that's, that's where I left off, isn't it? Sorry, it's, it's been a little while since I last played. I was focusing on finishing up, uh, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, so... Yeah, we we ended off with me going into Tartarus to go rescue someone who went missing. Then I did a little bit of training in between. Yeah, everyone's around like 24, 25. Protag is 26. Oh, we're getting introduced to them. Right, I forgot this needed to happen before the full moon. Uh -huh. How did I? Whoa. What the heck is this? Good evening. <sighs> Are you surprised? Oh, man. Truth be told, we all visit this world every night. What are you saying? It's who the hell are you? <sighs> Didn't mommy teach you any manners? You haven't even introduced yourself. Come on, take a look. Name, address, age, etc. This is you, right? Huh? Where did you get this? Somebody's got a grudge against you. And they asked us to get revenge. Revenge? What kind of bullshit is this? Who put you up to this? Can't tell you. We're professionals. Professionals? Oh shit. Those runers online. You're saying they're true? For real? Shall we get this over with now? Hey, wait. I haven't done anything. Why me? what I do? That is not our concern. Your notion of right and wrong is irrelevant. My client's wishes are all that matter. People hear what they choose to hear, and believe what they want to believe. No! Stay away! Get away from me! You squeal most magnificently. Such raw emotion. He's not dead. Doesn't matter. We held up our end of the bargain. Besides, tomorrow this will just seem like some random crime. Well, if there's nothing else, I'm feeling rather tired. Have you heard of this revenge website? If you post someone's name on the website, they'll get revenge for you. It's a 100% guaranteed success rate and completely anonymous. What? Seriously? Give me the URL, I wanna check it out now. Uh -uh. Well, it's just a rumor, so I don't know the details. Why are you so desperate anyways? A revenge website. I wonder if it's a new ghost story. Well, it's certainly a ghost. Alright, who's available today? Keisuke, Chihiro, Kenji. What am I ranking up with? Am I ranking up with Kenji? I am. Eh, you know what? Might as well hang out with Kenji. Uh, something seems up with him. Thanks. Let's go somewhere we can talk in private. Hey, man. Sorry to make you come here. I, uh, uh, damn it. No, hold on a sec. I want to do something real quick.
You in trouble? Yeah. I, I. Dude, it's bad. I don't know what to do. The school found out about Emiri and me. It blew up and became this huge thing. And now she's being transferred to a school in Kyushu. What do I do? Maybe you should talk it out. Yeah, man, that's what I thought. Except I feel like she's totally avoiding me. It's like all of a sudden she won't answer my calls or reply to my texts. She's probably only doing this to protect me, but still. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta think of a plan, and I'm gonna need your help. See you soon. Thanks for hearing me out today. Oh. Hi, how are you today? Just one? I'll have what he's after. Hmm. Coming right up. One house special. Don't you get sick of eating the same thing all the time? Shut up. You're the one always eating that protein shit. <laughs> Here you go. One house special. Uh, be careful. It's hot. So, you still haven't made up your mind? Is that what this is about? We've got four new members this year. Things have changed quite a bit since you left. We're more aggressive now. I'm not interested. Think about it, Shinji. Don't let your power go to waste. My power ain't worth shit. Shinji. I made up my mind a long time ago. I ain't going back. You have to let the past go. What's done is done. It's time you moved on. <laughs> you should talk. What? Face it. You're no different than me. Uh, hey, Shinji. Box on counter. What did I order last time? Oh, an amenity suit. Okay. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. There are two weeks until the next full moon. Let's train and build up our strength while we can. Huh? Wow, it's time for another boss fight. <laughs> no wonder we're wonder we're gonna wonder what we're gonna be up against this time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting kind of excited. Honestly. With both Akihiko and Iori around, serious conversations are starting to sound, to sound like a joke. Speaking of Akihiko, has he returned yet? Hmm. Guess not. Maybe went for a quick bite somewhere? <laughs> we can hang out with Fuka. I mean, you obviously know what I'm gonna do. Sorry, Yukari. What was that? I don't know why I opened the pause menu. I mean, sure, I feel excited. That doesn't mean I'm treating this like a game, you know? I really just wanted to take him down. Honestly. I wonder where Akihiko is. If he's going to be late, he should at least have the courtesy to call me. Sorry, Yukari. Um. Oh. Oh, Mikami-kun. How are the rooftop planters doing? Um. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Huh? There are white spots on the leaves here. I think I've seen something like this in a book at the library. It might be a common disease in vegetables and flowers. What do we do? What if the plants die? How did the book say to fix it? Oh, right. If we take care of it now, it might not be a problem. From what I can tell, 
doesn't look too serious yet. Um, what did the book say? We just need to cut off the white parts and... <gasps> That's right! Vinegar! It's said to put some diluted vinegar on the affected areas. I'll go get some from downstairs. I tend to the rooftop planters with Fuka. <sighs> I think that's about everything we can do. Picked up the fallen leaves, and the air circulation is good now, too. Everything should be fine now. All that's left is to trust they can recover. Thank you for today. Ah, and it does get me extra points with Fuka, too. I, wouldn't have been able I figured to it the would. Plans if you hadn't been here. I'm still a little worried, but... Please let me help out again sometime. Morning. Hey, is it just me or has Yukata been acting weird lately? Is that so? Wait, seriously? You should really pay attention a little more, dude. She's been thinking way too hard about why Tartarus exists and all that. I mean, who cares, am I right? I mean, that is something we're gonna have to figure out sooner or later, Junpei. Let's see... I have not spent any time with Maiko. I kind of feel like just focusing on the school ones for now. Uh, now let me spend some time with Hidetoshi again. Oh, that's not a good sound. How many times do I have to explain it? It's like I'm talking to a moron. Oh boy. Why would you even accuse me? The cigarette butt was in the boys' bathroom, right? Then can you prove it wasn't a girl who brought it and left it there? <sighs> with that logic, this is never gonna end. I'm done with this. You're on your own. Neanderthals. Ah, uh, they're the worst. Try not to hold it against them. They think like children. They just can't help it. Sooner or later, they'll see the light. Then I'll earn their trust, and they'll learn to respect me. I don't mean to isolate myself. I'm just remaining detached. Someone always gets hurt in any relationship sooner or later. I suppose I've gone on long enough. I, I apologize. No point in having a meeting today if no one else is here. Let's go. I parted ways with Odegiri and went back to the dorm. Shadows come in all shapes and sizes, huh? Well, they're all creepy as hell. I wonder how they ended up looking the way they do. Our abilities are quite inexplicable. Not just anyone can acquire them, and we're still unaware of exactly what triggers an awakening. And yet, we would be quite lost without our abilities, wouldn't we? Our Persona's abilities are amazing, aren't they? Secret powers that only we have. It's actually pretty cool, huh? It's kind of a shame we can't tell anyone about them. Oh, limited item menu at Hagakure. Guess that's what we're doing. I forgot to sell all my stuff at a... 
police station. understand the Lawrence rule and the left hand rule, then I'm racing the board. Uh, hopefully all of you have been taking notes because it might be on the exam in two weeks. My shoulders feel lighter than usual today. I can even erase the top of the board with ease. Perhaps it's because I went to the bathhouse yesterday. I had a nice long massage in the whirlpool bath. Which brings us to my next question. When streams of air bubbles from a whirlpool bath hit you, your body vibrates, yes? There's actually a name for that phenomenon. Iori, perhaps you know what it is. What? Uh, dude, how'd I know? Hey, you got any idea, Tadashi? What's it called when the air bubbles in a whirlpool bath hit you and make your body vibrate? The flutter effect. You got it. Oh, I suppose you already knew. That's right, the answer is indeed the flutter effect. The flutter refers to the small vibrations generated by interactions between airflow and other forces. It's not just whirlpool baths that have benefits. Do you ever feel itchy after taking a regular bath? It's said that taking a warm bath can improve blood circulation throughout the body. And as the body warms up, the blood vessels dilate, flushing your body of all to of toxins all at once. Heat can stimulate the secretion of histamine, which often makes the body itch. Hot baths may feel marvelous, but it's best to take them in moderation. Lukewarm water, on the other hand, helps cleanse the skin. I digress. And now then, let's get back to class. Open your tech open your books to page eight. <laughs> Man, now I want to try taking a dip in a whirlpool bath. Think we're gonna ask Kirijo Senpai for one in the dorm? Oh, there's five. Hey, hey almost max charm. Turn up with Kenji. I do. So let's see if we can finish up Kenji's. I mean, Friday and Saturday are Fuka days, so I, I want to try to I want to try to do Fuka's. So this is what eight to nine, I think. Oh yeah, this is eight to nine. Wow. until we sit down to eat, but I've decided to go to Kyushu with Emiru, so this will be the last time we have ramen together. Emiru? Who's that she's with? I didn't think he'd get so serious about it. He's just a kid. He must have misunderstood. I did it for my own track record as a teacher. He should be grateful. Seems like he's the one who spread the rumors. And now other students are. Just a little longer. We'll celebrate our wedding soon enough. I can't wait. Emiri. So I guess today was the day she was leaving. I had no idea. I was so excited about going with her that I. I. Well, let me handle this. It's fine, I'm okay. Thanks, though, man. It's not Emery's fault anyway. I screwed things up. Not her. Why, Emery? Why? Nose is running. <laughs> Thanks. If you were here, I'd... let's go. Home. All right. 
that one's almost done now. I guess I don't really need answers on that one anymore because 10 literally does not matter. I can say whatever the fuck I want on 10. Oh, is Fuka on the second floor? Oh, that reminds me. Even though there's time until the next full moon, we'd best use that time wisely. Of course, training in Tartarus is one way to prepare. Whenever you are inclined to do so, do not hesitate to ask me to join you. Hey. You always seem so... unbothered. Do you just have no regrets or something? Uh, sorry, I was just curious. I didn't mean anything by it. Yeah, there she is. Hey, Fuka, let's read together. Um... Oh. Do you want to continue reading that sci-fi novel together? Um, if you're not too busy, I mean. Um... What do you think? All right. Glad to hear it. Okay, I'll go get them from my room. So the other day, I recommended the novel I'm reading to a classmate. I don't talk to her much, but at the time we were discussing a movie we'd both seen. She wasn't too keen on the recommendation and turned me down, though. Aww. It was because the series looked hard to get into. There are so many volumes. <laughs> She's missing out. If she just gave it a chance, I know she would see how interesting it is. The basic premise is about journeying to other planets and even that by itself already sounds intriguing. And the writing is so unique and poetic. I can't help but get sucked in. Recommending something to someone is a really tricky thing, huh? Well, thank you anyways. I appreciate you showing interest in that book. Okay, I think I'll read a little further myself. <sighs> Whew. I finished the whole thing. I feel like my academics have improved thanks to the skillful right expression in the writing. Time flies by so quickly. Let me know your thoughts on it next time. Well then, good night. You know, I just realized it's perfect that it's a Friday and Fuka's link is available. Good it's morning. Fuka Friday. This is Elizabeth. Oh, is someone else lost in Tartarus? I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Okay. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. I guess I'll head over on Sunday night then. Or, you know, maybe. It w yeah, probably when I'm ready to end the episode. Alright. Fuka. Oh, I like how hers is a different color than the others. What the fuck, Kenji? Okay. <laughs> I just happened to look at it. Oh, Fuka. I, I don't have enough points to rank up Kenji, do I? I do? I had enough po Okay, apparently not, that, uh, that was enough points to max him out. Okay, good Good to know for uh, whenever I hang out with Kenji next, which is probably going to be uh, next week. Hey, Fuka. Oh, Mikami-kun. I'm just about to head home. How about you? Yes, I of course will spend time with Fuka. Okay, then let's go. Now that I think about it, even though we live in the same dorm, we've never gone back together before. I wanted to improve my cooking? Well, I've been trying a lot since then, but I can never seem to get the taste right. I still don't have a feel for how much salt to add. How do you do it? Oh, just a dash or two. A dash? Oh, so speed is important? Oh, that oh, makes a lot okay. of sense, actually. That... no. I 
have just been pouring it in slowly. I'll try and remember that. Oh boy. To tell you the truth, I was actually hoping I could make something you'd really like. But I don't think I'll be able to do that for a while. <laughs> Maybe cooking just isn't for me. <sighs> oh, sorry. I know you're just trying to help me, and all I'm doing is being negative. Hey, just take it slow. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. I've never had someone be so supportive of me like this before. I actually have quite a lot of trouble staying optimistic about things. In my head, I always imagine something going horribly wrong. That's why sometimes I feel like giving up when I'm cooking. But you know, when I'm around you or the rest of the team, I never think like that. You've all given me so much confidence in myself. So, I'm really thankful to be a member of Seas. That's why I want to show you all my gratitude. Fuka's starting to trust me. Seems we've grown closer. She's just sweetheart. I love her so much. <laughs> Maybe I should watch one of those cooking shows on TV. Actually, it might be a little too advanced for me. The library might have some books for beginners, though. Mm, but in that case, I can't really read while cooking. I wouldn't want to get the pages dirty. I'll help you find something. Oh, you don't mind? But... Mm, I don't know. If we're looking for books, that means we'd need to go to the bookstore. It's not a big deal or anything, but I don't really like going to bookstores. Hmm. Oh my gosh, when did it get so late? I have to go! Um, the hairdryer burned out, so I was planning on fixing it. But I was hoping to get it done before Yukari-chan and the others got back. Sorry, do you mind if we up the pace on the way back? I hurried back to the dorm with Fuka. Aw. She's such a sweetheart. I see you're back. Oh, you're back. I'm heading out for a bit. I'll be late. Okay. I gotta think of it. Oh, crops are ready. Seriously? Dude, why is he even here? Oh, oh it's chairman. The mood around here has been so serious lately, I thought I would lighten things up. So today I will be performing my top 20 puns for everyone. Oh god. Well, hey, have fun with that, guys. Um, I know the chairman means well, but sometimes I just don't know how to react to his jokes. But I also feel bad at pretending I didn't hear him. What should I do? Y you should be true to your heart. Mm -hmm. I do think it's important to listen to your heart, but... This is a special exception. If I tell him his jokes aren't funny, it'll hurt his feelings. <laughs> oh. This is one of the chairman's indulgences. As to whether his jokes are actually humorous or not... Well, it would be quite boorish of us to make such comments on the matter to his face. You'll simply have to get used to it. Just try to ignore him if it gets to be too much. Noted. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to Hug and Curry tonight. Did you hear about all those people who were found unconscious recently? Apparently a lot of them were couples. Excuse me? Well, like they were attempting a double, double suicide or something? I guess it's kind of romantic to sleep for eternity with your lover. 
like Romeo and Juliet. No way. Nuh uh, no way. That's not romantic at all. Couples are found unconscious together. Wonder if it's because of the full moon. But we start with the basics first. Yes, you're right. I haven't even gotten the basics down yet. <laughs> I'm getting way too ahead of myself. First thing I need to do is find something that I can actually make. There you go, Buga. I'm still having a lot of trouble getting things right. But I can't give up yet. Not after all your support. And it's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. You're a hard worker. No, that's not true at all. I mean, everyone in our group works hard. And beyond that, I think you all have something that you're good at. Not me. I mean, I guess I'm sort of good with machines, but that's it. It's honestly not worth mentioning, really. I think it's pretty incredible. I mean, I, I don't have a lick of sense of what I'm doing with machines. I just happen to like them. It's not exactly something worth boasting about. When I was little, I remember my dad's hobby was to work on complicated sound equipment. He'd fix things like broken amplifiers or headphones that only played sound on one side. I've always loved watching him work on those things. Probably why I was drawn to working with machines in the first place. But I don't think that would be very useful to repay everyone's kindness. Plus, if we do ever have any technical needs, like when we're fighting, then we've always got the Kirito group support. Not to mention that I'm kind of embarrassed about it all. I mean, it's not a very feminine hobby. That's not true. I sure seem to talk about my problems a lot, huh? I wonder why it's so easy talking to you. I feel like you stop me from being so negative all the time. Actually, I might owe a lot to you in that sense. I think Fuka trusts me now. So we've grown closer. Fuka and I went back to the dorm together. Oh, welcome back. Um, um, hey. You know those couples who came down with apathy syndrome? It's a hot topic in my class. But I can't figure out why they've been tar attacking groups of two specifically. I just don't see the point. Is this all part of the Shadow's plan? I hope we can figure something out with our investigation. Anyway, let's keep our chins up. Hey. Oh, hey Mikami-kun. Do you usually have plans on your days off? There's this interesting kid who hangs out at the shrine, so I've been talking hi to him there lately. I'm planning to go see him again tomorrow. If you're free, you should come meet him. Ooh. Oh my god, I forgot about the vegetables! I'm an idiot. Ooh, tart 
Tarukaja, two Tarukaja and four Sukukaja potatoes. Hey. Do you know how to use the DVD player here? Thought I'd, I thought I'd might as well use it once in a while. I have this compilation of some of the greatest matches between boxing legends. Watching professional techniques like this will surely help us in our own battles. Oh, courage. Not now, Akihiko. I have max courage already. Might as well work on the crops with Junpei, though. Taking the care of the players up top, right? Mind if I give it a try? Girls aren't just slim dudes, right? Might be good to eat some vegetables after all. All right. Sweet, let's get to it. The only vegetables I ever see at the store are plain old ordinary ones. You know those fancy veggies only people like Carijo Senpai would eat? If we could grow something like that, we'd make a fortune, don't you think? Depends on how hard we try. Oh damn! So you're up for it? Yeah, we gotta dream big. You're pretty good with your hands, so what do you say? Want to join forces and make a name for ourselves? Well, we should probably get to work before we get ahead of ourselves. Good idea, Junpei. I tended the rooftop planters with Junpei. Mm, this is getting really rough on my back. And yeah, my hands are all caked in dirt. The extra care is paying off, and I can harvest more. But, for the sake of Junpei's brand name, Luxury Veggies, I gotta keep going. I don't know how I could deal with all this on my own, so let's do this again, okay? Okay, what are my hangouts today? Oh, Fuka. I mean, yes, I will hang out with Fuka. <laughs> well, I, I, I could I could rank up with Maya. However, Fuka. She takes priority above all else. Let me see the home shopping show first. Oh, I didn't check what a... Oh, home gardening set. Amaranion sprout. Not bad, kid. And three buff potato sprouts. Yeah, sure. I'm guessing it's an Amrita onion. Thanks, kid. But I mean, hey, that, that's still a pretty good item. Amrita. Anyway, Fuka. <sighs> that was a great movie. I'm surprised at how advanced CG has gotten. They can do almost anything with it nowadays. Sometimes I wonder... Is it possible that our technology has already surpassed human imagination? Oh, that reminds me. Since we're talking about movies... Say, do you prefer watching movies at the theater or at home on DVD? I like at the theater. Mm. I see. So you like the atmosphere at a movie theater, huh? Well, I guess the speakers in the theater are much better than those on a TV. Fuka seems to be enjoying herself. I learned a little more about her today. Thank you. Thanks for coming today. Shall we head back now? Oh, actually, I went to buy some new spices and seasoning. I'm going to stop by the strip mall first, so I'll see you later. After waving goodbye to Fuka as she headed to the strip mall, I returned to the dorm. No one here? Oh, everyone's up on the second floor, I guess. Looks like Kirijo Senpai and Sanava Senpai aren't around, so let's go to Tartar some other time. I think I'll go to bed early tonight since I usually stay up way too late. <laughs> <clears throat> Ahem. 
Junpei the Wise has come to a startling conclusion. There is no top to Tartarus. Are you stupid or something? Whoa, he's finally snapped. I guess his brain has reached its expiration date. <laughs> Actually, that's an interesting idea. It's almost philosophical. But wouldn't that create a big problem for us? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Alright then, Tartarus does have a top after all. Let's leave it at that. Hey. I wonder what's at the top of Tartarus. If this is an adventure novel, there'd probably be some kind of treasure. Oh, hell no. I got it, there's a giant pinata, and when you break it, candy pours out, and a huge banner that says, Congratulations, you've beaten Tartarus! Jeez. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Maybe there's, like, some sort of device, and once we destroy it, Tartarus will disappear. I see everyone has their own theories. Some sound more credible than others, but, you know, hey, not, not here to judge. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh, let's head on over to Wakatsu, then. You know who we're hanging out with today? Morning. In about a week, there'll be another mission. That's right. Yeah. I wonder what we'll face this time. Do we just keep going on these missions until we defeat all eight remaining shadows? Blindly following orders to get stronger by going to Tartarus and fight shadow after shadow? I've been thinking about this for a while. I feel like Kirijo Senpai is hiding something from us. Oh, Jesus Christ. Please sit down so we can begin today's lecture. Ada ada lo ada dia. I know you were expecting Miss, Mrs. Terauchi, but she's had an emergency. I'll be taking over class today. We're going to learn a bit about natural magic. It's not too dissimilar to paganism, which we've already discussed. Natural magic is, obviously enough, magic that draws its nature from power. It's power from nature. Ooh. Probably the most popular form of this would be herbalism. Calendar-based spells are also a form of natural magic, since they involve the seasons. Now, some of you may already be familiar with dowsing, which uses a pendulum or rod to find things underground. This, too, is a form of natural magic, first used to detect sources of water. That's enough examples for now. Let's move on to the proper mindset for natural magic. First, you must recognize yourself as a part of nature and accept its power. In other words, think of humanity as a microscopic layer within the cosmology of the universe. This mindset is based on the concept of the four classical elements. Ancient magicians believed that different objects sharing a common element would react to one another. They attempted countless experiments attempting to prove their hypotheses about nature. Are you all listening? I certainly hope so. <laughs> Here's a little test to see if you are paying attention. You'll receive an ill omen if you get it wrong. Ada ada lo ada dia. Okay, then. Now who to pick today? Mikami, you have been called upon. What form of natural magic is used to find water sources? Dowsing. Correct. Excellent work, your answer is correct. As for your omen, no news is good news. But back to the main subject. Prayer is considered integral to many forms of natural magic. One characteristic of natural magic, of natural prayer, of natural magic prayer is that much of it is, pray is in praise of the Earth Goddess. This ties into the concept of natural magic as a way of invoking nature's blessing. As time passed, na natural magic developed into natural science. In this transition, though, a key element was lost. The notion of time being, uncontro uh, being controllable. Natural magic forbids the use of spells that go against the standard flow of time. Its practitioners believe that magic should not defy nature, and to this day take great care to follow natural law. Cool.
Man, this is really just a Fuka episode, huh? Oh, hi. Oh, Mikami-kun, do you have any plans today? I have a favor to ask, if you have the time. Yeah, thank you. Let's see then. How about we go to the roof? The view up there is so nice. So, there's actually something I want you to try. And this time, it isn't just for a taste test. I think you'll actually be able to eat it. Wait, uh, maybe I said the same thing last time. <laughs> well, now I mean it. Fuka presents me with a bento box. There are ri rice balls wrapped in seaweed inside. They smell good. I decide to try one. It's edible, at least. The rice tastes good and has just the right amount of seasoning. In fact, I'd go so far as to say it's delicious. Well, how is it? You did a great job. Really? I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you. You know how I said I was having trouble with cooking? Well, I decided to try and find a recipe that even I couldn't mess up. And after a lot of consideration, I thought maybe making rice balls is something I could handle. But then I got really absorbed in how simple they are to make, yet still so hard to master. I made some rice balls today in home economics class too. I know it's a little silly to make something so basic in high school, but it was all I could manage. There's nothing wrong with that. But then, everyone in the class told me they were really good though. Anyways, I've been really looking forward to have you try one. I wanted you to see how much progress I've made, because I don't think I could have made it this far without you. I'm glad I could help. Thanks. I know I've said this before, but when I'm with you and the rest of the team, I'm able to see things more positively. And I think the most important thing is the feeling of wanting to make others happy. That might be the reason why I made such good rice balls. Because I was thinking about who was going to eat them. Oh, can you make more sometime? Of course! Just let me know anytime you want some. Um, I just wanted to say... Thank you so much. Really. Puka seems to really appreciate me. good rice balls oh the first thing to note is while you're washing the rice i spend the day listening to fuka's tips on making rice balls i decided to go back to the dorm hey sorry to bother you fuka it's okay what's on your mind I was hoping you could do me a favor. With your skill, I mean. I was doing some research on our school, and I came across something strange. Ten years ago, a lot of students stopped coming to school for some reason. They were reported as absent at the time, but I found some records that suggest otherwise. Do you know anything about it, Fuka? Me? Um, not really. I know it was a long time ago, but doesn't it seem suspicious to you? From what I've heard, this isn't the first time shadows have appeared. Wait, are you saying... I don't know, but I do wonder. And I'm not trying to make trouble or anything. But Kirijo senpai acts kind of weird whenever someone brings up Tartarus. Does she? I just want to know what happened back then. And if it doesn't have anything to do with the shadows, then fine. I understand. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Oh, 
Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Oh, we can cook with Mitsuru tonight. By the way, stories about the lost have really picked up at school. My guess is that there's a shadow making its move out there. I guess our full moon theory was right. Hmm, things are getting even more interesting. Oh. Oh, okay. I was wondering why Boop was texting me. I was like, what, does she want to hang out tonight? No. Okay, hang out with Junpei at the books. We haven't hung out with, uh... Mitsuru yet. Um, um, oh, um, well, we were just talking about girl stuff. That's all. It's not like I was asked to look into something or anything. It's really nothing. Nothing at all. It's kind of suspicious when you say it like that, Fuka. <laughs> huh? Oh, hey. Um, we're just talking about girl stuff, so... What's with that look? It's nothing. I trust you. Yeah. You better. <laughs> but seriously, though, we're just talking. Cook with Mitsuru today. Yes. Oh, it's you. Do you have some spare some time to spare right now? The company heads gifted me some quality tea leaves. I'd be happy to serve you a cup. In order to better appreciate the tea blend, it's better to brew enough for two, you say. Yeah. What do you say? Thank you. I'll start the I'll start the preparation. Help yourself to the snacks as well, if you'd like. This is a really good look for her. I love, I love the ponytail. Today, I wanted to show my thanks for your hard work, as well as check in to see how you're doing. Ever since you joined us, you've been taking on a lot of responsibility as leader of our group. Have you been running into any trouble? If you have, please don't be afraid to let me know. <laughs> Not really. Well, that's good to hear. I have to say, I'm always inspired by the way you remain calm no matter the situation. Your cup is empty. Let's pour you another. Mitsuru and I enjoyed tea together. It's late. We ended up spending a lot of time here. Let's turn in for the night. Lux night tea. Oh, I'll take care of the cleanup. I'm glad we had the chance to talk today. I'd like to invite you again when the opportunity arises. Then with that, I bid you a good night. All right, Kenji. Oh, he said yo. I thought he said you. <laughs> It's like, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, hey Kenji, what's up? Yeah, let's let's max out the link. He seems like he's in a good mood today. Another day, another bowl of ramen. Despite its simple appearance, the soup has a complex flavor that's enhanced by the noodles. Damn, this really is some bomb ramen. How could I ever leave this city? Miss Kano must be in Kyushu by now. I wonder if she had her wedding already. Maybe she did. You know what else? My favorite show had its finale and I didn't even notice. My mind was really on one track for a while, huh? Kind of funny in a weird way. We chatted for a while. Man, it's always a blast hanging out with you. That said, I still want a girlfriend. <laughs> want me to find you a girl? Really? Who? Someone from your dorm? Sounds like I should be making more surprise visits. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I I'm getting off track. I've been doing some thinking after everything that went down. When Emmy left, I was sad, sure. But on top of that, I felt really dumb. 
Did I really love Emiri? Or did I just love the idea of dating a teacher? I thought about it a lot. But I couldn't figure it out. What I did figure out is you're a true friend. That's right. We're great friends. Damn it, why do I say such embarrassing things? God, I'm such a dumbass. Anyway, here, take this. Choker? I made it for you. Figured you could pull it off. Your fashion sense is kind of... Uh, so, I wanted to help you out. I mean, that's what best friends do, right? It's a symbol of our friendship. Thanks, Kenji. Oh, they changed it. The magician's social link has reached its maximum level. You can now fuse Futsunushi, the warrior god. Futsunushi is new. Actually, kind of think of it. I think the only time I've ever seen Futsunushi is in Persona 4? I think that's what you got from maxing... Was it Strength or Chariot in 4? I think it was Chariot. I think it was Chie. But yeah, th this used to be Cirk back in original P3. Interesting that they put Futsunushi in instead. Hmm. Worked up an appetite acting all weird around you. Ooh, now I'm starting to wonder. Could they have changed what we get from Fuka's Link too? Because usually when you max out Priestess in this game, it's Sahath. Hmm. More eggs, please. Make it ten. Ten eggs. My shit. Welcome back. Hi, how was your day? That looks like everyone's here. Oh no, gardening with Fuka. I was thinking about ending the episode here and going to Tartarus, but mm, I'll go one more day. What's up with Yucatan? It's like she's glaring daggers every time she looks at Kirijo senpai yeah, That's true. Right? I wonder what happened. Maybe senpai at Yucatan's last bonbon. Alright. There will be a full moon in a week. You do understand what that means, yes? I know. Excellent. Good. Then make sure you're adequately prepared. Hey there. I know Mitsuru said it already, but it'll be a it'll be a full moon in just a week. Once you start think about our time frame, the tension really starts rising, doesn't it? Yukari's got a movie. Let me save real quick. Just in case I have to go back, because now everyone's available tonight. Um, well, it, it, hopefully everyone's available tomorrow. Um, I'd like to check on the rooftop planters today, if possible. Do you have some time right now, Mikami-kun? Um... Whoa, 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 what's that? Did that say Fuka might develop a new ability soon? Yeah, let's do it. Huh? Yes, this looks good. Just to be safe, we should adjust the amount of fertilizer and make sure they get enough sun. They look like they're growing fine now. <sighs> what a relief. It's all thanks to you, Fuka. A helping hand. I'm sure tending them is important, but it's all thanks to the plants themselves for being so strong. You know, 
After I treated the plants when they were sick, I kept coming back here to check on them. I think you must have been a little surprised because the plants are completely different than they were before. I noticed that the spots where we had cut off the leaves were already sprouting new ones. And in just a little while, they were healthy and green all over again. Maybe I'm making a big deal of this, but it made me realize that life is actually quite amazing. It didn't matter that they had been weakened or had damaged parts. Just giving them a little support was enough for them to show how strong they really are. <laughs> Let's keep at it. Yes, if we hadn't had to take care of them like this, I never would have noticed. I'm not sure how to say it, but I hope I can be as resilient as these plants are. Fuka's looking tenderly at the plants we've grown together. Oh. Reduces damage taken when an ally's weakness is struck? Fuka! See, this is why she's the best. Man, you have a lot of combat characteristics. Combat characteristics are passive effects that will automatically activate during battle. Your party members each have unique combat characteristics which become available as you deepen your bonds. Select triangle, uh, select status from the triangle menu for further details on a party member's combat characteristics under BRG. I think I'll check on the plants one more time, just to show my appreciation. Maybe if I keep thanking them, they'll grow even healthier. Man. All right, that should do it. Shall we head back down? Oh, right. I got Pharos. Hey. Hey. Can you guess what I'm going to tell you? I think so. You're used to it by now, huh? The next full moon will be in one week. Are you prepared? Don't worry. I'll come see you again. The next full moon is almost upon us. Are you feeling prepared? Of course. All right. Good. I'm counting on you. According to the cycle, it should appear on July 7th at midnight. That's six days from now. The number of incidents have also started increasing as we get closer to the full moon, so stay alert. Will do. You know, let me check the calendar real quick, because I think we get to squeeze in one more Fuka day, if I'm not mistaken, before the full moon. Yeah, the seventh. Yeah, that means one more Fuka day, baby. Well, three more Fuka days before the full moon. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, uh, who's available today? Hugo, Yutoshi, Keisuke... Uh, how's it looking with everyone? Everyone can rank up. What percentage do I have? That's something I should also take a look at. I don't have a strength. Well, I don't need chariot anymore. You know, let me let me go to the velvet room real quick. Oh, I went to Port Island Station. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to go to Polonia Mall. Man, I also do want to sell some stuff. Who am I missing? Kenjiro Sitsumi. Yoshimi Miyama. Now you're here. You're here. Take this envelope. Well, it's something that missing schoolgirl brought in as a reward to the one who found her. There was a lot about the case that stymied me us on the force, so I figured you guys were involved. A recarm card? The missing person's family sent a thank you letter. 
take this too. Letter of thanks. Good to see you. I don't have that much. All right, what do we got to sell? Want to sell in bulk? All right, yeah, sure. Twelve k. What accessories do you have? New things in stock. Confused, distress, and fear boots. All done here. Be seeing you. I haven't been looking at my armor either. Because I did just get that new armor. Amenity suit. 30 HP. Uh, that is something I would want to give to Akihiko. His defense is super fucking low. Although mine is now too, I guess. Let's see if we can make a strength persona real quick. I'll hang out with Yuko today. Fragments. Oh, I said I was gonna get rid of Zoku Ten. That's not what I wanted to do. If I wanted to, I'd get rid of which one? Magician Star. I don't make. Oh, that makes Matador strength. Take all the time hmm, you I didn't realize that. To consider. Carmen Shisa. Yamato no Orochi, power. Oh, there's Wapo. That is a lot of experience. Yeah, you know, no, nothing wrong with doing a little bit of fusion, but first I think we should register everything in the compendium. Any special fusions? I can make our sound. Which will Let's you see. choose? Sandman. Let's go. This I can make a Wapo. Do you wish to inherit? Let's go. Zio Koha. It will receive an immense. <laughs> Why this is exciting, isn't it? Wapo. Nice soul seed driblet. Twenty six magic he is kind of insane. Oh, and then with Hypixie, I can make power. This persona is powerful. Hama, Magaru, and Arrow Rain. Only leads to dark. Oh, hey, Johanna. Ooh, Maraku Kaja. Hercule. Jesus Christ, these things are fucking insane. I, I kind of want to avoid using the DLC personas because they're really strong. Maybe into like endgame or something. Like, holy shit. Rasu, Takemi Kazuchi. Take all the time you need to consider. Here, I can use Jack O' Lantern and Power, because I don't really need Jack O' Lantern anymore. This persona is I can just get High Pixie back. What do you wish to inherit? So let's go Assault Dive, Medaya. Oh, I can't give it Provoke. That's unfortunate. Tarakaja. And I guess I have regular Garu. Will a fairer... Well, well, well. Okay, Mahama. Ooh, torn shot. Now it's great of Hama. Wapo. I could make something for Moon, because I don't have something with Moon yet. I don't want to toss Neko Shogun already. Satanta Eligor. Oh, this Narcissus. Is powerful. This 
your progress so far. I'm at twenty percent already? Jeez. I think five more percent I get a discount. This person so you'll be summoning this one? Very well. <laughs> you add a compendium. Ah, please choose the personas you would like to fuse. This person I do want to create powerful. something that has a single target boost. It's interesting. What do you wish to I can not pass provoke on to you. Well, you uh, you're please choose both what ways. skills to inherit. Oh, hey, provoke, bewilder, distress boost. Torn shot. It seems you have been blessed. With... <laughs> Why, this is exciting, isn't it? Gembu. This power might be too much for you. Chikoku Tan, I Pixie, or Thrasu Loa. Might be too much for you. Life drain. HP. Uh, let's see. How about Pale Rider? Lamia, Orthrus. That's that Lamia. Mokoi. Take all the time you need to consider. Right, here, let me this make Lamia. Please choose what skills to inherit. Garu, Koha, Eha. And Torn Shot, why not? It appears it will receive a good amount of extra. <laughs> a new power emerges. Poison Mist. I'm gonna get rid of Poison for Poison Mist. Oh, and I got the Soul Seed Dribblet too. Nice. See, Lami. Oh, Misha Guji's in the game now? <laughs> oh man, this fucking thing. I get some real power out of that one. Holy shit. Oh, Oni's Chariot. can't control this one yet. I don't need Wapo. Oh, good. I can get. I can get a strength. There we go. Oh no, that's level twenty on. You can't control this one. Yet. a little bit beyond my power right now. Hmm. I guess I'll just summon back what I need. Please take a look. So what do I need? I need strength. I have my emperor. Oh, I don't have chariot. And I do need chariot. So you'll be summoning this your inner strength. Right, chariot, strength, and priestess. Please, is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. Oh, oops. Please take a look. I got my priestess. This is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Are All you right. finished? Oh, what I do? Good day. Are you accepting a request? Oh, fusion miles done. Most excellent. Ooh, five twilight fragments. Nice. Very well. Okay. So now I guess we'll go back to the school. After all that. Let's head to the classroom hallway and we'll hang out with Yuko today.
Oh, I get zero points at all in this. Great. What the hell? Oh yeah. Have you been training to strengthen your core? It's a good idea if you want to shorten your runtime. You're less likely to injure yourself too. I was talking with Kaz about putting it in the first year's practice routine, actually. Do you mind if we continue talking in the cafe? I'm a little hungry. Ow! <laughs> Kid again. You again. Oh, man. You know, it's dangerous to be running around a place like this. You're lucky it's just me. But what if you bumped into a scary man, huh? If you want to play, do it at your schoolyard. We can't play there. The sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer. They said they'll move if we could beat them in a race, but we're only fourth graders. There's no way we could win. That's why we had to play tag here instead, Auntie Yuko. Love the anti slide this time, but only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. This field is so big. Wow, high school is amazing. They said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed in here. Understand? So don't touch anything you're not supposed to, and if something happens, let us know immediately. Can you promise that? We promise. Good. Then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12. And don't go inside the school building. All right, let's do this. Wait, come here for a second. You need to pump your arms more. And don't lift your legs so high, or you might pull a muscle. Come on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. Woohoo! Check this out. Wow! Kenshon, you're so fast! Hey, big sis! You should be our coach! sucker when kids look at me that way <laughs> but i've never tried coaching before what do you think i should do hey why not give it a go really think i should Fine, please please <laughs> hmm. well it isn't a decision to make lightly coach but i'm not gonna go easy on you guys and no one's allowed to quit halfway either got it got it coach you go hey is he gonna teach us too is he your boyfriend coach never you mind about that now everyone line up i said i wouldn't go easy on you didn't i you could begin passionately instructing each child think positive if you think you're gonna lose you will. Don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders. That, that sounds hard, hard but okay. okay. I watched Yuko as she coached the kids. Eventually, they all went home. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um, I was wondering, would you maybe want to do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking a lot, but... I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic, too. So if you'd coach them with me, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Please? Honestly, I don't think I can handle it on my own. Sure thing. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, a singular point. I'm sure those kids will be happy, too. Thanks. Seems like Yuko's counting on me. I feel like our relationship has grown. I know that I keep asking you for favors, but I'll make it up to you one day. 
I left school with Yuko and returned to the dorm. I see you're back. Did you hear? Next operation will be on, the sh on July 7th. That means it's going to be a Star Festival special bout. What? Okay, Akihiko. <laughs> As you may recall, I handled support before Yamagishi joined us, so I was worried my sword skills might have deteriorated. However, my muscle memory kicked in, and I seemed to be as capable as ever. Um... There's still so much we don't know about Tartarus and Shadows, but at least we know when the next Operation Day will be, so we can prepare for it. So how well do you usually prepare anyway, Mikami-kun? I prepare thoroughly. Really? I'm impressed. No wonder you're our leader. Alright. So. I will call it an episode here. And at the beginning of the next one, you're going to see me at Tartarus again. Because I'm going to go rescue those people that wandered in. Uh, so. I'll see you guys after that. When we go up to the full moon. So. I'll see you all then. Bye.